I'm sorry to bother you, but Second Counselor Rano asked me to come find you. He said it's quite urgent. All he wanted me to do is track you down and send you to him. Look, this is important. Even more important than wiping out the ash spawn. Please, go speak to the Second Counselor as soon as possible. Thank you for coming. After everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more, but I can't risk Councillor Morvain being killed. The Ulan family of House Lalu, a rival great house, has placed a death mark on the Councillor's head. It's a private matter. Let's just say they seek revenge for the execution of one of their own, ordered by Councillor Morvane himself. The problem is I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. It may be justified, but it certainly isn't appreciated. Councillor Morvane simply feels that I'm being paranoid. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. I don't want it to come to that. I do. I'd received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. Ravenrock is a small settlement, so it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. I had a feeling you'd be willing to listen to me. I need you to start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Raven Rock. See if you can root out these traitors. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri, over at the Retching Netch Corner Club. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. I can't afford to make any mistakes. Traitors. A lot of them. Their collaboration with the Empire may have given them unrivaled political and economic strength, but their hearts weren't with the Dhamma people. Lalu deserved every bit of hatred they received once the Empire released its grasp on Morrowind. Having passed ties to the Empire immediately turned them into the scapegoat for the Dhamma people's suffering. They had welcomed the Empire with open arms and benefited from it. When everything was said and done, they were no longer recognized as a great house and were dismissed from the Council. I maintain a few contacts in other Dunmer settlements across Tamriel. Most hail from House Redoran, but there are a few from other houses. Most of my contacts live leagues away from Solstein. Sending the occasional message back and forth is all we can manage, and sometimes takes months or more to arrive. However, any information we can glean in times like this, I consider vital to House Redoran's survival. During the Oblivion Crisis, gates to the Plain of Oblivion opened all over Morrowind. The Empire pulled most of its forces out of Morrowind to deal with the gates in their own homeland, leaving us virtually defenseless. We had no standing army at the time, just uncoordinated pockets of resistance. House Redoran took charge and was slowly able to build an army. It took years. It became a force to be reckoned with. When the Argonians invaded years later, House Redoran's army was able to prevent them from sweeping across all of Morrowind. 
It would be fair to say that House Redoran literally saved the Dunma people from destruction. Don't worry. You can trust Gelgus. He's been with us for a long time. <laughs> 